Hi everyone. So I'm getting ready for a Zoom call. As you know, Zoom is really popular, lots of people using it. And today I've actually decided to use this camera. Now I've used it before. I'm going to use this as my webcam. This is my Canon camera. It's the EOS R. And Canon have introduced some software called the EOS Webcam Utility that allows me to connect this camera using just a USB cable, like the USB cable that probably came with your camera. Now, I've actually got a longer USB cable on here, which actually allows me to have the camera further away, but you can use what came with the camera. Now, the great thing is, I don't need any capture cards. So a capture card normally allows you to connect the camera into here using, say, an HDMI connection. But this is using USB, which is much nicer because you just don't need that extra expense. Now, it doesn't work on all of Canon's cameras, but you can check out which cameras are compatible on their website. So I've got all the links below for this, including the links to the software, to the Windows version, to the Mac version, so you can actually try this out. So the great thing about this is I can now use this as a camera when I'm using Zoom or if I'm using something like Skype, Wirecast, and many other different kind of live streaming software or teleconferencing that allow you to have another camera and you can see which ones those are. So I've used this one successfully. So the great thing is this camera now is, is great. It's great for low light. I can zoom in on things. It gives a much nicer image. And as you can see, I've got it on the tripod here. So I'm looking directly at the camera. So the way that I use this, if I'm doing a webinar and I'm teaching, is I've got my camera on here, which is my FaceTime HD webcam. And it doesn't matter whether it's Mac or Windows, whatever webcam you've got. And then I can use this camera to actually zoom in on something that might be really useful. So if I wanted to show, say for example, how to use my watch or something like that, I could do that. If you've got a class and you're teaching, say, something like dancing, yoga and things like that, guess what? With this, you can move the camera, someone can move it, they can zoom in and you get a much better image. So we can do that. So as I said, I've just got that with this USB cable connected in here. And if I just spin that round, you can see it's connecting in. Now, this is a really good cable. It's orange. It's made by a company called Tether Tools and I've got the one that fits in here, which is USB-C. If you want to get something like this, which has got a much longer cable, as you can see, you might want to consider getting something like this. And I've got links to this below, but do check on which cable you actually need for your camera. So let's just spin that back. I've got this nice little tripod as well. I've got another tripod, but this is made by Manfrotto. It's the B3 Live. It's quite handy, it's lightweight and quick and easy to set up. So let's take a look at what this actually looks like. Now I'm a little bit close to it obviously right now. I'm going to go into Zoom and the great thing about Zoom and Skype and all of these is they work the same whether you're using Windows or a Mac. So here on Zoom I can actually first up see what it looks like. So on the top right here I've got this little cog, this little settings icon. I click on it and go to video. And you'll see, give it a moment, the camera will come up. Now I'm a little bit close. So if I come back here, you can see that this is giving a much nicer image. I'm looking over here as well. And you can see how good that is. It gives a nice background, the colors nice, and so on. Now, sometimes I must admit that when I do set this up, I get a message come up here, here saying EOS Webcam Utility appears in this window. It hasn't quite connected. You don't need to start the software. It's running in the background. You don't need to do anything else. I haven't double clicked on anything or anything like that. I find that if that happens, which actually did happen just before this, I switch the camera off, switch it back on, and it tends to be okay. But just to give you an idea, this is what my webcam looks like. It looks like this. But now you've got an idea, if you're teaching, you or wanting to show something, you could switch between this camera and this one. And there's a slight delay as this camera just suddenly comes back online. But look at this, how good this actually is. And as I said to you, if I wanted to show you something such as this wireless that I've got here, this is my wireless 
flash remote you can see I can zoom in there we go that's nicely in focus and you can see I've got it mirrored but I can actually switch that off there's a little icon here for doing that so then it's the right way around so if you're using zoom for example and the same works on other bits of software as well but zoom is incredibly popular at the moment if you want to choose the camera you can actually when you're in a meeting or in a webinar over here where it says stop video you've actually got the arrow next to it where you can choose the camera from there so you can choose the facetime hd camera uh, well it's on a mac but whatever camera you've got or the eos webcam utility beta okay so there you have it that's how you can use the webcam but it's more than thinking about the software it's thinking how you can actually use this so if you're teaching something maybe guitar piano a musical instrument cooking and so on you can now get in on the action and make this really clear so there you have it this is using the eos webcam utility it's fairly new from canon it's the beta uh, the beta means that it's kind of still in a bit of testing but i've got to say it's worked really well for me i've used it on the mac and i've used it on windows i've used it with zoom i've used it with skype i've used it with wirecast and it works really really well so as I said, the links to everything are below so you can get the software, you can get the instructions. It's really easy to install. Do make sure that you restart before you, after you've installed it. And I've also got a link to this cable. And actually, I'll put one there for the camera as well and also the tripod. So this is all you need to get better video using Zoom. And I'm, I'm pretty sure you're all finding Zoom Skype and all of that invaluable at the moment and moving forward I think this is going to be really great for everyone so thanks for watching if you like this video please do click on like subscribe and share do tell your friends if you do have questions please drop me a line and I'll try and address those in other videos so stay tuned for that thanks for watching and stay safe